Our next speaker is Laila Rostanmeli from the Azerbaijan University of Languages. She will talk about models of multiculturalism between Israel and Azerbaijan. Laila Rostanmeli in the Azerbaijan University of Languages, International Relationship Department. She is country director of the American Research Institute of the South Kafkaz in Azerbaijan. She is also study in the Rottenberg International School of Hebrew, of, uh, of the Hebrew University, graduate student program on Israel, on Israeli society and political, and also universities, peace research program. She's working, she's working on her PhD this is titled Israeli-Iran National Relation, Relations and Regional Security in the Middle East. Laila, yes. I greet everyone and I feel privileged to, uh, to present in this session. Um, my visit uh, back in time uh, when I was a student uh, to Israel was an eye-opening visit for me. I discovered Israeli multiculturalism there uh, and also I discovered my own country's beautiful multiculturalism uh, which I didn't think uh, of about until then. Uh, so my topic will be devoted to the multiculturalism in Israel and Azerbaijan, um, <clears throat> different models of multiculturalism. Uh, multiculturalism is one of the most controversial concepts of the uh, modern period. Um, while in theory multiculturalism means coexistence and peaceful coexistence of the distinct religious, racial, um, ethnic, or different cultural groups in the same society and uh, preserve their distinct features, traditions, uh, way of life, and customs. Um, there are two different theories about multiculturalism. First, uh, metaphorically called melting uh, pot and um, salad bowl. The first one is more uh, conservative theory and the second one is more uh, liberal. The conservative theory uh, assumes that different distinct groups will melt in one uh, pot, in one society, and gradually lose their distinct features and become assimilated into the predominant society. While the liberal theory means that each of these distinct groups may preserve their own cultural features um, and uh, still exist in one society. However, time proves that both of uh, these theories uh, or societies based on these two social models are not successful. Because while assimilation will lead to um, monolithic society, on the other hand, the um, uh, salad bowl theory, which will lead to isolation of the society in, in the society of uh, different groups. Uh, therefore, uh, I think Azerbaijani and uh, Israeli multiculturalism is a none of this. They are distinct, and Israel and Azerbaijan are both uniquely cultural, diverse societies per se. Uh, Israel is uh, situated in the core of the Arab world, which uh, Israel is a unique country in every way that you can think of. I observed myself while I was in Israel. And Azerbaijan is also a unique state because it's a Turkic state with majority Shia population. Uh, it's, uh, there's n not any other country in the world like Azerbaijan being Turkic but Shia and uh, uh, situate and as the, at the same time secular. Um, and uh, its geo geopolitical situation in the crossroads of East and West, uh, Asia and Europe makes it uh, very complicated for Azerbaijan uh, in, a, in a political sense of the word. Um, so these both countries are developing multicultural societies and uh, they turn their cultural diversity to the asset. Um, about Israeli multiculturalism, Israeli authors uh, say that uh, though we say Jewish state, this state, that means Israel, is a multicultural uh, state in itself because it has um, almost 21.1% of its population are Arabs. 
and 5.3, this is uh, according to the Israeli Central Bureau of Statistics, 5.3% uh, are defined as uh, others, including non-Arabs and Christians. So um, the, the two main roadblocks in, the, in front of the uh, Israeli multiculturalism is the divide between religious and secular Jews and the divide between Jews and Arabs. So these are two roadblocks uh, that the Israeli regime uh, tries to overcome while building its multicultural society. Uh, despite the negative representation of Israel on the news and <laughs> the media, we know that Israel's uh, government tries to build a multicultural society. I, uh, I saw it in the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and other academic institutions in Israel that they, even in education, you can see that uh, they, are, um, they try to enf enforce, to foster multiculturalism. Um, the, one of the other big problems in front of Israel multiculturalism might be considered that uh, Israel um, is a home to immigrants from more than 100 uh, different countries around the world. So each of them, each of these communities brought their own culture, their own uh, way of life. Uh, so that was also complicated for Israel multiculturalism. Um, so I don't think that it should be regarded as a zero-sum game for Israel, either to foster its Jewish character or uh, to make a choice between Arabs or Jews or, or any kind of this choice. As for Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan multiculturalism is specific because unlike Israel, Azerbaijan uh, ethnic groups have been living together for centuries or maybe for millennium. Uh, therefore, it's, uh, it has historical roots. And multiculturalism in Azerbaijan uh, is a mixture of uh, political um, strategy, like the government policy of multiculturalism, and historic, uh, historical roots, as I mentioned, and geography. Uh, you see, Azerbaijan, as I told, is in the crossroads. So why uh, majority are Shia? Because of the Persian influence. Before 19th century, when, I was, uh, when uh, Azerbaijan was conquered by Russia, Azerbaijan was under the Persian Empire. So it was Sh uh, the Shia influence came from there. There was a short period of Ottoman influence uh, as well. And then a uh, long period of Russian uh, conquest in Azerbaijan, replaced by Soviet period. Uh, there was in between just two years of first Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, which was one of the uh, most progressive republics of that time, which granted equality to all citizens, uh, non regarding their um, confession, their religion, their ethnic background, everyone was equal. Even gender equality was promoted because Azerbaijan Democratic Republic was uh, one of the first countries before some European countries uh, granted uh, political rights, rights to vote to women. So. Um, after that period came Soviet period, and Soviet uh, regime has their own uh, political agenda of immigration. So they tried um, to foster migration between uh, republics of the Soviet Union to create a Soviet man. So therefore, to Azerbaijan became different immigrants like Armenians or others as well. So this makes the landscape of Azerbaijan quite um, complicated. But um, Azerbaijan also, as I already mentioned, the government policy is multiculturalism, and uh, this should not be regarded as, um, you know, when critics of multiculturalism say that if you foster, um, for example, different um, groups inside the society, you will lead them to isolation and you will lose the character of your state. Hence, uh, while nation states still remain the main actors of the international relations, the basic question is that we acknowledge that multiculturalism is not only a sociological phenomenon, it is also a sociopolitical issue. And uh, bearing this in mind, we should answer to the question that how we can achieve multicultural society um, preserving the cultural identities of the distinct groups at the same time not um, losing your character of your nation statehood or to guard the national interests of your state. Uh, so we are trying to do this and we well understand that Israeli society is also trying to, to do the same. Um, also the last point, the last point would be that after uh, the Second Karabakh War, okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. After Second Karabakh War, Azerbaijan uh, faces new challenges regarding multiculturalism. Karabakh uh, is a historical part of Azerbaijan, and now that uh, 
after this Second Karabakh War, it should be reintegrated into Azerbaijan. But this reintegration will not be only uh, economic or political. It will also have social, um, social dimension. So Azerbaijani government will need to incorporate Armenian uh, people into Azerbaijani society. You know that uh, in Azerbaijan, 30,000 Armenians live outside of Karabakh, and we don't have any problems, any security issues with them. But uh, the Karabakh Armenians uh, will, uh, I assume that we might have some problems uh, when they will, in the future, if Azerbaijani government, uh, of course, will try to reintegrate them into the Azerbaijani mainstream society, we, well, they will travel outside Karabakh, and we will face some security problems considering um, Armenian terrorist um, attempts back in time. So Azerbaijan will need Israel experience <laughs> in this, how to deal with the security issues. Um, as uh, other speakers mentioned, there are uh, bilateral relations and military security field is developing rapidly. And uh, I think in, in this uh, Azerbaijani embassy, which started functioning recently, will have its uh, role. Uh, they will play their part, and we have uh, a lot of um, perspectives ahead of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lara.